Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned that a lack of support for Ukraine would be a big win for Putin and a loss for the West, as he was asked to speculate on the outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election. Zelensky was asked about speculation that U.S. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump would withdraw aid to Ukraine if elected but Zelensky appeared to be unaware of the comments. However Zelensky emphasized that Ukraine would be relying on bipartisan support. Risks are risks. That's why Ukraine has its own interim plan, how to strengthen itself. It will be very difficult. But don't forget, Europe also is Europe, he added. Zelensky also commented on the presence of North Korean troops in Russia, saying that he expected there to be up to 12,000 in total arriving soon. Thousands of North Korean soldiers are expected to reinforce Russian troops on the front line in Ukraine and are pushing the almost three-year war beyond the borders of the warring parties. Zelensky described it as a escalation. Western leaders warn that its involvement in a European war could also unsettle relations in the Indo-Pacific region, including Japan and Australia. I didn't hear that he said that he will uh, cancel and will not support uh, Ukraine. But uh, of course, we don't know who will be the president. But of course, we understand all the risks. What can be the, the biggest risks if the policy of the United States will change. And between us, I don't know who will be the president. It sometimes doesn't depend only on the president's will. I think we have to uh, count on bipartisan support on Congress, first of all, and that's why it will be, I think, not to, not to support Ukraine, I think it's, it will be a big win of Putin and big loss of West, of, of unity, of democracy and freedom. That's why I'm not sure that President Trump, if he will be the president, yeah, that he want to be really, that he want to lose. And I think that's, that's mean not to, to help Ukraine. But anyway, I agree with you that risks are risks. That's why Ukraine has its own interior plan how to strengthen itself. It will be very difficult. But don't forget, Europe also is Europe. I can add on to that saying that well, with a, one or two very well known about um, Russia getting support from, let's say, countries that haven't taken a clear stand. First of all, about North Korean soldiers, soldiers and officers, they have both. They have both already on Russian territory, and they will use it both. They will use it on our territory. 3,000 already on the territory of Russia, 3,000 of North Korean soldiers. We think the information from our intelligence, uh, we think that they will have 12,000. This soon, I mean soon. It's not about years or months, it's soon. So that is the first. Uh, of course, it's escalation and uh, how we can, uh, sometimes I'm very surprised how, how our big partners, big strategic partners say that we should not cross red lines and escalate. But we think that Russia uh, does it itself. So. Difficult situation on the east because they have a lot of people, a lot of people really, I mean Russians, and they don't think for them it's it's not 
people. I mean, that so they push them, and uh, a lot of Russians are killed each day. The last my connection with the general was today morning, and uh, yesterday, for example, Russian they lost only on on this on the east direction they lost uh, 800 people been killed. So they don't think about it. We have to think. That's why it's not simple. That's why we think first of all about people and then about the land. Thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Best of you. Good to see you.